Hello everybody. Today we're going to be unpackaging our new Express Red Composite Coach for the Bachman HO Scale Thomas and Friends uh, collection. So we have a couple of these coaches already. We have the coach and we also have the brake uh, brake van version of the coach. Um, but we wanted to get a third one just to kind of uh, make a more realistically uh, long train. So we bought this. Now these coaches here were discontinued actually in 2005 and they just re-released them in 2022. Um, so they're just available now. So we um, we were kind of watching for when they were going to be released, and then when we saw they were released, we went ahead and ordered it. And then as a bonus on packaging, we also bought a um, coal wagon that um, will add to our uh, rolling stock of troublesome trucks and um, those types of open wagons. So let's get to one packaging. Boy, that ballista packaging can be tough, huh? Yep. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, the car is quite well packaged as usual. They're in a blister package, and then they sit in this little molded packet piece of uh, packaging as well. And of course, we want to be very careful removing it. It's pretty tightly packed in there. And there we go. So there it is out of the package and we'll Throw it up on the turntable and we'll take a look. Okay, now that it's out of the packaging and we've got it on the turntable, <clears throat> we did a basic inspection just to make sure that, you know, it wasn't damaged in packaging or anything like that. Um, so it looks like it's in good shape. So this um, car here or coach is about 10 inches long. Um, as you can see, the color scheme is um, kind of a dark red, two, it's two-tone, dark red on the bottom and a little um, kind of beige or kind of you know, pale yellow um, around the window area. There's a good amount of detail down here um, in the lower where the trucks are. It has metal wheels um, and there's a good amount of you know, uh, iron work, brake mechanisms and things like that. Um, as I've said about these cars you know, in many videos now, um, these, the detail on these is just, um, just really good. So you can see here that there's, uh, you know, the window configuration across here. Um, a lot of detail in the window framing and you can see some vents here uh, kind of raised up. Non-functioning, but, um, you know, they're molded into the plastic. So uh, let's give it a spin. Okay, looking from the end of the car here, we have uh, the diaphragm, which um, you know protects passengers going between cars, keeps them from being exposed to the weather. Um, there's some wood, there's some planking work here, molded into the plastic that looks really nice. Again, good amount of detail. Um, we've got some footholds, again, so maybe a rail worker can get up onto the roof of the car for maintenance or whatever. Uh, we got black buffers. Hopefully you can see those. This is a lot of black on black here. 
Um, and then we have the hook and loop couplers um, that are the coupler style for this, for this car. Okay, let's continue to turn it. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention here was that these cars are modeled after the British Railways Mark I coach. And um, these are actually the same coaches that are pulled by Gordon. Um, they're a different paint scheme for Gordon. They're actually green um, is the, is the uh, main color. But um, yeah, same coaches, the Gordon coaches. And also they're the same coaches that the um, Harry Potter Hogwarts Express uh, train coaches are modeled after. Those are also modeled after the British Railways Mark I coaches. On this side here, we see that um, Again, the paint scheme uh, follows through. This is not a mirror image of the other side though. These windows here are slightly larger on this side than they are, we'll just turn this real quick. On this side, you can see the windows over here are a little bit smaller. So let's ro rotate it back around. But again, you just have all the, um, the ironwork kind of carrying through here on the frame. Um, Two-tone paint, of course, and a good amount of detail. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna move this in a little bit because I want you to see, I want you guys to see the detail on the inside here. I hope you can see it. But there is, um, on the inside of the cars there, there is actually, um, you know, seating, the cabins, and then there's the passageway that runs up one end or one side. So um, if you've ever seen We'll just use the Harry Potter movies as an example. When they're inside the coaches, they're walking up one side of the car and the cabins are on the, um, you know, kind of are in the middle to the other side, if that makes sense. So the hallway isn't in the center, it's actually on one side of the car. So that's all, also depicted here in these coaches here. So that detail is on the inside. So that's pretty cool. As we continue around, The other end of the car is exactly the same. It's a mirror image of the opposite side. We have the diaphragm, um, kind of this mock wood planking. And I did mention it um, on the, when we were doing the other end, but there is a little bit of door detail here um, on the end of the diaphragm here that kind of makes it look like, you know, those doors can be closed, you know, at the, uh, on that side of the, on that end of the diaphragm. And then we have, again, the footholds, buffers, and hook and loop coupler. Okay, let's finish coming around. On this side here, this is the cabin side. So if you were to look inside the windows here, you'd be able to see um, the coach cabin side. The other side was the hallway side. Um, if you were to look into the cabin um, for any detail here. Let's see if we can just very quickly get it up close here. Let's see if we can see in there. Let's turn it around the other side. <coughs> Alright, so let's take a quick look at the top and the bottom. Okay, so along the top it's a black roof and these are kind of partially, you know, arched roofs. Right here you can see the kind of curved roof line there. Okay, straighten it up. Yeah, so the roof is pretty unremarkable. It's um, just a smooth roof. Um, there is a little bit of rivet bolt detail on the ends here, you know, bolt head detail or rivet head detail. And then you've got your vents along the, um, the roof line, kind of a little bit off center. Um, so. All right, let's flip it over, take a look at the bottom. Okay, so on the bottom here, um, not a great amount of detail like on the undercarriage here. Most of the details appreciated from the sides, um, but we have the you know the Bachman um, you know product information here and company information along with the little looks like a product identification number there. Um, I think I mentioned it steel wheels you know and all that. And then you've got some like iron bracing, iron work down here, a little storage area um, 
of there. But yeah, so that's the top and the bottom. Okay, let's give it one more spin. All right, looking good. Oh, uh, one last uh, detail on this car here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Okay, so one more thing I wanna mention on the Red Express coaches is that the 2022 version, the new current version that we just bought here, um, has a yellow line, a little yellow stripe, running right between the red and the uh, beigey yellow um, color there. You can't really notice it, the original cars don't have that. Um, that's, I think, the one difference between this new 2022 version and the old version. It's that yellow stripe, but I don't think you'll notice it. I don't think it's, um, you know, uh, a super big difference that anybody will notice, but it is there, so we thought we'd mention it. Okay, while we have our three Red Express coaches out here, we just thought we'd throw the um, brake van version up here on the turntable just so you could see the difference between the coach the passenger coach and the um, and the brake van coach so um, here's the side view here um, you can see there's a little bit of a different window configuration um, on one end of the car um, it still has the cabin detail on the inside um, in the hallway for you know, a little over half the length um, otherwise it's all kind of utilitarian I think down here at this end and it's got some different details here with this little um, little piece here on the end um, you give it a spin um, there's one more uh, on the kind of utilitarian end of the brake coach you'll see on the on the very end that there are some window details here that don't exist on the end of the um, passenger coaches but otherwise, the diaphragm, the wood planking, buffers, and hook and loop coupler are all there. So we continue around. Again, you'll see the window configuration here um, is consistent with the passenger coaches in that there are bigger windows on the opposite side, and these windows here um, are a little bit different. And again, the reason for that is because of the way the coach is configured on the inside. There's cabins to one side, and then a hallway running down the um, wall of the other side. Um, you know, with a um, with a passengers pass through and access the different cabins. So here again, the utilitarian um, section of the car at that end, different configuration there. So um, that's the big difference between the brake van look and the passenger coach look. Um, but the same great detail down below. Um, you get the steel wheels um, and all that. Okay, so that is the um, brake van uh, version of the Red Express coaches that will be pulled by Henry. Okay, so there is our new Red Express coach added to the other two that we had from a previous set. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and unpackage the um, the coal car with the with the coal load in it and then we'll take our um, red express coaches and we'll run them on the layout with Henry and we'll take our uh, coal car and we'll run that on the railroad with celebration Thomas with celebration Thomas okay so when we ordered our um, red express coach we also ordered this um, unlettered um, coal open wagon coal car with the coal load in it. So um, we're going to go ahead and unpackage this.
All right, let's throw it out the turntable and take a look. Okay, so this is the unlettered uh, open wagon uh, coal car with um, a assimilated coal load in here. Um, yeah, again, we just picked this up with the um, along with the Red Express coach. Um, we have other coal cars, which we'll um, show you. But uh, yeah, we just wanted to add this to the collection here. Um, we just did an unboxing or an unpackaging of like seven um, open wagons and some other um, freight cars. Um, so this is gonna be a lot, <laughs> a lot like those. The only difference is this one here has a simulated load and the other ones didn't, um, like the troublesome trucks and all that. So um, this is really just an open wagon with, like I said, a simulated coal load. So it's really kind of like the troublesome trucks and some of those other wagons. Um, it is a seven plank wagon. So if you counted up the planks on the side here, should count up to seven. Um, similar to the Troublesome Trucks. Um, it's got a nice green, dark green color here, um, and the um, ironwork is painted in black. It's um, a nice color combination. Good looking car. Um, again, the typical detail that we've been used to here with the um, ironwork, and you can see the simulated bolt heads or rivet heads um, on the bracing and all that. Um, great detail down here. Um, the car is plastic, but it has metal wheels. I didn't mention it, it's four inches long from tip of coupler to tip of coupler. Um, and then just a lot of detail down here in the truck area with the brake mechanisms and a lot of this iron work that seems to work like on levers and things like that. So great simulation there. Um, yeah, so nice job. So let's give it a quick spin. Okay, the front of the car has the planking again and then some of the bracing that you'll see here. A um, couple of buffers, hook and loop coupler. And the opposite side is pretty much a mirror image of the other side. Um, the diagonal bracing, um, some of the bracing around um, here, some iron work and all that. Um, again, detail at the truck level, the brakes and some of the other um, mechanisms uh, down there. It's a good looking car. Let's uh, take a look at the top and the bottom. Yep, so the top of the car has a simulated coal load. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, it's got some, some nice detail to it. It looks exactly like what it's supposed to. And the coal load is actually, you can actually take that out if you wanted to use the car for something else. Yeah, so there's the coal load that comes right out of the car. You know, a lot of these open wagons were used to haul, you know, kind of bulk stuff like coal, you know, slate, things like that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool that it comes out. We can use the, um, the open wagon for something else if we chose to. So inside there, when you take that out, there's still the details in there, the plank floor, the plank sides, um, you know, same level of detail as if you had bought this without the cold load. And then on the bottom, again, you know, there's not a ton of detail like on the flat side of the bottom here, Bachman logoing uh, stamped into the plastic or molded into the plastic and, you know, a part number. Yeah. Okay, so just for fun, we'll just put our new um, coal wagon next to um, a Sodor Coal Company wagon that has the lettering on it. So the one we just bought, unlettered, and then this one is lettered. Um, yeah, so they'll look really good together um, on the railroad. Okay, so since our new um, Red Express coaches are going to be hauled by Henry, we thought we'd give Henry a quick look here. So um, Henry is one of the two big haulers, I think, in the in the Thomas universe. Um, him, along with Gordon, um, seem to be the the big the big guns, as it as it were. Um, so yeah, so uh, 
Henry's a fine looking uh, engine. As you can see, his paint scheme is green with some red pinstriping. Um, number three is his engine number. Um, and I think here, this just has a tremendous amount of detail in the linkage area. Very impressive, I think. You kind of look in there. Yes. For a small HO model, it's fairly complex, um, but it looks good. And it looks good, it looks good when it's running too. So as we move along here, um, you know, we'll go from tender to, to engine here. Uh, hook and loop couplers, red bumper with a um, with little black uh, trim on the buffers themselves. Um, it is a six wheel uh, tender, so we got three wheels on each side. Um, these wheels are metal. Um, again, the green color with the, with the pinstriping of the number three. Um, here we have a little bit of yellow trim around the cab window in addition to the, um, the red pin striping there that, um, you know, that's outlining the, the bottom of the cab there. And the outside facing edge of the decking here is red. The top of the deck, the surface of the deck is gray. Um, so there's a lot of nice contrasting colors that go together really well. Um, up in the piston here, the piston is green with some red pin striping and the wheels themselves are green. And again, the nice linkage here. This is just not painted, this is bare metal. Um, then we get the front wheels up here. So it looks like um, Henry would be a 460. So four small wheels up front, two on each side, and then three drive wheels there, um, three on each side. Um, let's see, he's got a little bit of fender work here for, I'm not sure if that's really what they call fenders, but um, that's what they look like to me, so we're gonna go with that. Um, like Nice fender work here. Um, we got a little black paint at the front of the boiler. A little step down deck. Let's give it a turn. And here we've got Henry's face. And we've got some as the deck kind of the deck kind of steps down here. We've got the lantern posts there in gray. Uh, we have a utility hook here on the front, um, which is in gray and plastic. Again, that red bumper with the black buffers, um, hook and loop coupler, and of course Henry's grinning face. Let's continue to turn. So this side here is pretty much a mirror image of the opposite side. Um, again, beautiful linkage here. Same, obviously, paint, paint, same paint scheme. Um, we've got a little silver piping up here along the boiler. A um, little, little bit of scalloping here in the, in the tender. Um, simulated coal load in the tender. Let's continue to turn. And on the back of the tender, this is like a little deck decking here in the tender. It's not really scalloping, it's more like just a little deck um, that's kind of cut into the, into the tender. Red bumper, uh, again, uh, gray utility hook, black buffers, hook and loop coupler. And as we swing around, that is Henry. Okay, let's flip to the top of Henry here. Um, as you can see, um, we got a couple of domes up here for, um, at the top, you can see that silver piping that runs up the length of the boiler on both sides. Smokestack here, a little train whistle down there, and a little curved roof around the top. That looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the bottom. Yeah, so in the back of the cab, there's no real detail in the back of the cab here. But there is, uh, where, the, where the tender couples to the uh, locomotive, it's just like a little tongue with an eye, like a kind of a tongue extension there with a um, eye, eye bolt, or not an eye bolt, but um, kind of an eye hole. And that sticks right into a post on the back of the coupler. You can show how that works. Huh? So, 
very simple coupling system um, for Henry here. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. Okay, the bottom doesn't have a ton of detail. Um, you know, it's just basically the Bachman lettering or the Bachman um, corporate, you know, kind of stamping into the bottom of the plastic there. Um, you've got the wheels here in the front that are kind of hinged on a, on a, on a screw there. Um, metal wheels, but um, yeah, just give you a look at the bottom. Like I said, there's not too much to talk about down here, but um, just to give you a look. Uh, for the tender, um, we've seen the sides here. Let's take a look at the top. The top has, a, again, a simulated coal load here and a couple of kind of uh, cutaways here that look like some kind of decking. Maybe that's a step up or something along those lines. Um, and then a little cutaway here on the top. You can see that. Um, the bottom, again, you get just six wheels. No real detail down here to view. Just, again, the Bachman stamping that you'll see on all of their rolling stock and locomotives. Um, hook and loop coupler on one end, of course, for the for the rolling stock and then you've got the little post here that goes into the eye that's in the tongue of the hitch on on um, on Henry the locomotive. A little ladder work here on the side that I didn't mention before but um, yeah so that's uh, Henry and the tender top and bottom. Okay as Henry hauls our red express coaches um, we're going to have Celebration Thomas pull our coal cars, our coal wagons. And so this is a kind of a special edition of Thomas, Celebration Thomas. Um, and as you can see here, rather than his um, typical blue paint, he's got kind of this metallic blue paint. Um, it's got a little bit of uh, shine to it. And then there's some kind of red, yellow, and orange flagging that you can see here on the sides. Um, otherwise, he looks like the same Thomas that we used to. Again, this one here has a pretty good amount of detail. We've got the side ladder, we've got the little side ladder here, which is kind of a nice detail. Um, the six wheels, and then the linkage for those is kind of tucked up there. Uh, maybe we'll see it on the other side, but you'll definitely see it when we run it on the track. So let's give it a turn. Okay, you can see Thomas's face. I'm sure everybody is kind of familiar with that. Um, there's a little bit of a sloped deck in the front here um, leading down to the lantern post. There's one lantern um, on there now. And they've got the red buffers with the black, buff uh, no, sorry, the red bumper with the black buffer, buffer tips, and then a black utility hook there as well. Okay, let's give it a turn. This side's pretty much a mirror image of the other side, of course. Um, you know, same, uh, same flagging on this side as far as the um, specialized um, painting paint job here. Um, now you can see a better, better look here at the linkage. It's a little bit lower here on this side. Um, yeah, that's, that's a pretty much a mirror image of the other side, so. And then in the back, um, we've got, of course, the tender is attached to Thomas. That's what makes him a tank engine. He doesn't have a separate tender. Um, and we have the simulated coal load here. And then you can see just the back, of, just the tips of those um, porthole windows in the back of the cab. And then we have a white lantern back here, little detail. And we have the red bumper with the black tip buffers and the hook and loop couplers and a utility hook and an airline. I think that's an airline. I'm <laughs> um, sorry. Yeah, actually, if you turn it like that, I mean, just a little bit more. Yeah, right there. Yeah, you can see here the nice little added detail. I really just kind of noticed this on this engine, actually. Um, you know, it just kind of sticks out there. It's a, it's a nice detail. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at the top and the bottom. Okay, looking at the top of Thomas, again, you can see that kind of metallic paint job here. The front of the boiler, painted black. Got the domes, the smokestack, um, the two little train whistles there, and then of course a slightly curved roof on black roof on the top. And if you look at the bottom, yeah, these bought these models here. I've kind of said this with almost every unboxing we've done. The bottom of these don't have a ton of detail. 
um, but um, just so you get a look at it. Um, get the drive wheels obviously, we'll product number up here, and then of course the Bachman um, stamping or molding into the plastic uh, you know, company manufacturer information. Let's give him another spin. All right, let's get him out on the layout. 